and welcome to Rocksteady Boxing for Parkinson's in Encinitas, California. My name is Ingrid Johnson and I will be your coach today. Today we are going to do a defensive boxing class. And there are three types of defenses, mainly using the hands, using the arms and shoulders and legs and feet. So we're going to go through them in order and the first one I want to start with is your, uh, your hands. So this, if somebody's coming at you, would be sort of the universal sign of, hey, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. No trouble here. Also, this is a great way to catch a punch that may be coming at you unexpectedly. So just flat palms. Bring your fingers around and catch the punch. So that's what our first defensive technique is called. It's called catching the punch. So if you're using a glove in uh, boxing, the, you would basically open up the hand a little bit and kind of catch it like in a baseball glove. Okay, so here we go. A little catches to warm up the arms. All right, let's stretch out the arms. Open up the fingers and just reach and reach and reach and reach. Okay, let's count together and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and catch and 2 and 1 and high five. Take your hands over your head and smack them together. The second one, also using your hands, is called a parry. A parry is uh, a move that deflects a punch. So if you imagine a hand is coming, arm is coming at you, you're deflecting that away from you. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the parry. Parry further warms up your arms and shoulders. Good. And let's go ahead and just move our bodies with the parry move and just make it nice and big sweepy good and five and four and three two and one and high five okay let's put these two movements together now we're going to catch the punch and we're going to parry the punch so four each, catch, 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 parry, 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 catch, 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 parry, 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 catch, 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 parry, 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 catch, 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 parry, 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 last one, catch, 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 and parry, 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 Harry and give yourself a high five. Okay, we are now moving on to our arms and our shoulders. So we are going to put our gloves on and so the first one using our arms is blocking. There are three types, basic types of blocks and the first one is a cover from the side. So one of my friend boxing coaches, he used to always say, it is like Elvis combing his sideburns. What do you think about bringing your arm up and covering your face, basically your temples you're trying to cover. That is one of the most vulnerable spots in our bodies, our temples. And that is the one spot that of course, a good fighter will aim at. If you hit the head, if you get hit in the head, you at the very least um, start to get a little loopy and start to maybe not make good decisions. And so that's one way that fighters work on winning the fight. So here is our first cover. The second block is a peekaboo block. So it's here, peekaboo. And of course, this one was made famous by 
Rocky Marciano. So up and down, peekaboo, peekaboo, like that, peekaboo, and peekaboo, and peekaboo, and up and down, up and down. Working your biceps as well. Two and one. Okay, the third block would be a block that would uh, cover from an uppercut. So basically you would take your forearms and drive the punch down, which would be then a horizontal down punch. You can do this with both arms or with one arm. Drive it down, drive it down, drive it down, drive it down, drive it down. Down, 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 and down. All right, so we're gonna go through these blocks one more time. We're gonna start with our side cover. And this block is really good to defend, of course, against a high hook that's coming at your head. Okay, so this covers your hook. Now, peekaboo is a very good defense for a straight one, two, jab cross. Mm -hmm. And now the last one is the front cover. And of course, that is really good for the uppercut. Okay, so we've got through all of them. Now we're gonna go, go through them all in an order as in a little exercise. Okay, so it's cover, cover, peekaboo, and horizontal. Cover, cover, peekaboo, horizontal. Cover, cover, peekaboo, horizontal. Cover, cover, peekaboo, horizontal. Cover, cover, peekaboo, and horizontal. All right, so next we are going to put the punch that it protects together with the cover. So here it goes. We're gonna start with one twos. So here's one twos. And so the one two is protected by the peekaboo. So one, two, peekaboo. One, two, peekaboo. One, two, up and down. One, two, peekaboo. One, two, up, down. One, two, up, down. Put your hands together, really move those back muscles up and down. You should feel the scapula on your back really moving. The scapula are your shoulder blades and that is where your arms originate. That's where they should move from. One more time, one, two, and peekaboo. Okay, the next one would be your hooks the three fours, and what blocks them really effectively is, of course, your cover. So cover, cover. So let's do two hooks and two covers. Here we go. Hook, hook, cover, cover. 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 Hook, hook, cover, cover, hook, hook, cover, cover, and hook, hook, cover, and cover. And the last uh, punch we have is the uppercut. So here we go, uppercuts, get our uppercuts going. And then the block for the uppercut is basically the horizontal front block. So uppercut, uppercut, block, and down. Uppercut, uppercut, block and down. Uppercut, uppercut, block and down. Uppercut, uppercut, put your hands together and block and uppercut, 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 block down. Uppercut, uppercut, block down. Uppercut, uppercut, block and down. Uppercut, uppercut, block and down. Okay, so we are finished with the blocks. We've done our catch and parries. We've done our three blocks. And now we're going to protect ourselves with 
our elbows. So elbows are quite effective way to protect yourself. You can bring the elbows in or you can bring the elbows out. So one, two, three, four, and five, and six. And now we're gonna bring the elbows in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go out again. Elbow out, two, three, four. Start across your body and bring it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Across the body, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it in, two, three, four, five, six. Now out, two, three, four, five, six. Back in, two, three, four, out again. Outward, two, three, four, five, six. And in, two, three, four. Again, I want you to feel the shoulder blades working the arm. And in, last time, in, pull the shoulder blade away from the spine to bring the arm in across the body. And here we are, another one down, high five. Okay, great. So the next one is a shoulder roll. Very, very, very famous, powerful, effective, defense. It is this. It's also known as the Philly shell because boxers in Philadelphia use this as an effective defense. So here we go. And so bring that shoulder around and roll it. Around and roll it. And you may discover there's a little some stiffness in there. This gets right around that too and three, and two, and one. Okay, let's change sides and do the other side. So around, 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 around. So I bring my shoulder back, up, forward, and down. That would be a roll, complete roll. And good, four, three, and two, and one. Now, come back to the original side with the left side forward. So what does the Philly roll uh, defend against the best? Well, two punches, the straight punch and a hook. So let's go ahead and do what the puncher would do is a straight one and we are going to shoulder roll. So straight one, shoulder roll. A one and a shoulder roll, a one, a shoulder roll, and a straight and a shoulder roll. Okay, let's go to the other side. So we do a straight and a shoulder roll, straight, shoulder roll, straight, shoulder roll, straight, and a shoulder roll, a straight, and a shoulder roll, straight. Shoulder roll, last time straight, and a shoulder roll. High five. Okay, we are also going to now practice what we would counter with. So if I get a straight punch coming at me, then I'm going to roll my shoulder. And I see I'm pretty covered up, so you don't really know, see what's coming, and I'm going to come back with a sneaky, little uppercut. Okay, so here we go. I am getting a two punch facing at me. I'm going to shoulder roll it and I'm going to come back with an uppercut. All right, so let's do this as a little routine. Two, left shoulder punch, uppercut. Two, shoulder roll, uppercut. Two, shoulder roll, uppercut. Two, shoulder roll, uppercut. Two, shoulder roll, uppercut, two, shoulder roll, uppercut, two, shoulder roll, uppercut, two, left shoulder roll, and uppercut. Okay, we're gonna do the other side now, here we go. We are gonna get a one punch at us, and I'm going to roll the right shoulder and come back with an uppercut. 
that you can see. One, shoulder roll, uppercut. 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 One, shoulder roll, and uppercut. Great, high five. All right, so say we get a hook thrown at us. So here's our hook that's coming at us. We're going to protect our, our body with a shoulder roll, and we're gonna come back with a straight two. All right, let's do all three of these together. Hook's coming at us, I'm shoulder rolling, and a straight two. Hook, shoulder roll, straight. 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 And last one, hook, shoulder roll, and straight. Okay, let's switch stance, and here we go. I'm getting a hook at me. I'm gonna right shoulder roll and come back with a straight shot. Hook, shoulder roll, straight. 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 And hook, shoulder roll, and straight. Super, so that was the Philly shell, or the shoulder roll. Now we are going into our legs and feet for defenses. Okay, so the feet, we're gonna stand one foot in front of the other, and one of the simplest ways to use the legs as a defense is to bend your hips and knees and lower yourself under the punch. So my left leg is forward, my right leg is back, and I am um, slipping to my right. So it's called it slipping to the inside because we are leaning over towards the center line of our bodies. And it's the easiest version to do and the easiest one to learn correctly. So here we go. I keep my hands together in front of my chin and I bend my hips and then my knees and I lean forward. Now make sure you have eye contact with your opponent at all times so your eyes do not shift down towards the floor. Here we go. So five and four and three and two and one. Great, okay, let's change sides. So again, I'm standing with my right leg forward, left leg back, and now I'm starting to bend from my hips first, then my knees and I'm going to disappear under the punch. So, what punches does the slip defend against the best? Well, it would either be the straight punch, the one-twos, or the hooks. Doesn't do much for uppercuts, except it could go right into the uppercut. You could just bend your body right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and do what the opponent would do. The puncher, you are now gonna defend that punch. So here we go, I'm gonna get a one, two towards me and I'm going to slip. So here we go, one, two, slip and back up. One, two, slip, come back up. Make sure you come up all the way to straight. One, two, punch, slip under, come all the way back up. One, two, slip under all the way back. One, two, slip under, come back up. One, two, slip under, come back. One, two, under and back. One, two, under and back. Okay, super, so let's switch our feet around. And again, you wanna think about the opponent really wants to hit your head. Aiming for your face your temples, forehead, down, up. 
straight, straight, down, up, straight, straight, down, up, straight, straight, down and up, straight, straight, down and up, last time, straight, straight, down and back up. Right back to the original side. So here we are going to get hooks at us. And again, these are high hooks. They're gonna aim for our temple. So hook, hook, and I'm going to, again, get under the punch using my legs. Hook, hook, down, up, hook, hook, down, up, hook, hook, down and up, hook, hook, make sure you go down and all the way up, last time, hook, hook, high hooks, down and up. All right, turn around, here we go. And we get hooks, hooks, we go down, we come back up, hooks, hooks, down, back up, hooks, hooks, down, back up, hook, hook, down, back up, hook, hook, down, back up, hook, hook, down, back up, and high five. All right, so what would you counter with? I think a very good counter would be uppercuts. So when you get tired, your legs get tired, the, the joint that's gonna get tired first is the knees because they're a smaller joint. The hips are a very large joint. So think about using your hips and if your knees get tired, then just use the hips, okay? But um, still bending over is a great idea. It uses your glutes and your hips and strengthens them. So we're gonna do a one, two coming at you, your slip and come back with hook or uppercut, uppercut. One, two, slip, stand, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, slip and stand, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, slip, stand, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, slip and stand, uppercut, uppercut. Other side, here we go. So we get one, twos at us. We slip, we stand, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, slip and stand, up and up. 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 One, two, slip, stand, up and up. Last time, slip and stand, up and up. Okay, super. So that is a slip. Um, you can also duck. So a duck would just be a uh, square up to me and just go back like a squat. So this would be more of a slip where I'm leaning this way and a duck, I'm just going down and up. All right, so here we go. Let's do a couple of ducks here. Duck and up, duck and up. Again, from the side, you're pushing your hips back as if you're gonna sit into a chair. That way we're activating the glutes and not overworking our knees. Three, it's two, and it's one. Awesome. And so the same thing for ducks as for the slips, the best um, punches it defends for is hooks and straight punches. So let's do a hook and a hook and a duck and up. Hook, hook, duck and up. Hook, hook, duck and up. Hook, hook, duck, come up. Hook, hook, and duck, come up. Hook, hook, duck, last one. Hook, hook, we duck and we come up. Okay, say high five. All right, so after you've ducked and you come up, uh, you can come up, uh, you can do come back with a hook or come back with an uppercut. So let's do one of each. Okay, I've got one, two's coming at me, two hooks coming at me. I'm gonna duck underneath and come back with uppercut and a hook. 
And here we go. So let's do one twos. So come at you with one twos. You're gonna duck. You come up back with uppercuts and hooks. One, two, duck, up, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. One, two, duck and up, uppercut, uppercut, hook and hook. One, two, duck, up, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Last time. One, two, duck, come up, come back with a slew of punches. All right. And the last one that I like is using your feet mostly, and that's uh, uh, the fade. The fade is my favorite. I'm standing here, I'm punching away, and all of a sudden I'm taking an extra step back with my left foot, and I'm fading the punch, and I love coming back with a two. So here I am, I'm getting some punches coming at me, and in four, three, two, one, take a step back, fade, and come forward with your whole entire body from your feet up through your fist. Okay, here we go. So we're getting punches, punches, we're getting punches, we're getting punches. All of a sudden in four, three, two, one, step back, fade, and punch. Good, okay, last time here, punches are coming, punches are coming, and in four, three, two, one, I suddenly take a step back and I just fling myself forward, and I give a power punch. Okay, so let's do this on the other side. Okay, right foot forward, left foot back, punches are coming, punches are coming. And all of a sudden, I'm going to do in four, three, two, one, I'm stepping back, leaning back, and lurching forward for that power punch. Here we go, so punches are coming. In four, three, two, one, I step back and I punch forward. Punches are coming again. And I'm going to, four, three, two, one, step back, lean back and plunge forward. So much that I lose my balance a little bit, but catching your balance is the best part of practicing balance. Okay, um, another one to, way to uh, deflect a punch is basically to change direction. So here you are, you're getting punches coming at you, and now instead of stepping back, you're stepping to the side. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go, punches coming at you. Four, three, two, one, and change direction. Come back. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and change direction. Now the punch goes right past you. Come back with some good punches. And here we go. All of a sudden, four, three, two, one, and we change direction and come back. All right, let's do that on the other side. So here we go. Nice long punches coming at you, coming at you. And four, three, two, one, we change direction. Let the punch go past us. Okay, here we go. Punch away, punching away. In four, three, two, one, and change direction. Come back last time. Here we go. We punch away, punch away, punch away, and all of a sudden we change direction and come back. High five. All right, we're gonna review this whole thing from the top. First, we use our hands to defend ourselves and we put our paws up, I call it, and that would be catching a punch. So here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then we carry the punch, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, then we cover ourselves from the side. Here's our blocks coming up, our first block. Cover, cover, four, and three, and two, and one, and here we go into peekaboos. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and here's our horizontal cover, 
front covers six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. And this takes us right into our elbow blocks. Block the punch with your elbow. Four, and three, and two, and one, which brings us right into our shoulder rolls. So let's roll both shoulders here. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that covers our hands and arms, and now we go into our legs. We got slips here. Let's do five to each side. Here's two, and three, and four, and five. Change feet, and five more and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. And then we have the duck, which is straight up and down. Two, three, and four, and five, six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. And my favorite, the fade. So we just stand back and bring, come forth with a punch. Let's do five to each side. So two, three, fade back, four, fade back, five. And here we go, other, hand, other leg back. So we just lean back, fade away, and come back strong. Three, and four, and five. And the last one was change direction. So here we go, we are going to just change direction and come back. Change direction and come back. Change direction, let the punch fly right past you. And one more, I change direction and I come back. And the other way is change direction, come back. I basically just move my foot out to the side and my body follows four and five. Awesome, all right, that's class folks. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again at another session.